So I just saw that Odo Wallen picked up the victory over Rydell Booker. Um, so the Swede, he did extend his, his winning streak a little bit further uh, with the unanimous decision victory after 10 rounds over Rydell Booker. Um, I guess the, the big highlight for this fight is the fact that uh, he did mention Tyson Fury again, and that was his only loss that he has for his career. And he's he's saying, hey, look, if if Tyson Fury, if he's forgotten about me, he doesn't want to see me or whatever, um, because that fight actually went the distance. If he doesn't want to see me, then, hey, I, I'll, I'll take Deontay Wilder. I'll take whoever. Whoever needs to get in the ring, let's go ahead and make it happen. So we'll see. You know, um, all, only thing that I saw was some highlights. So I guess this fight was weird because it wasn't a live event. It wasn't a live broadcast. What they were going to do is that after the fight took place in Michigan, they were actually going to release it on YouTube. I still have not seen the full fight yet. Um, so I don't really know how it transpired, transpired. Um, but what I do know, I just did see some pictures and I saw a little bit of some highlights from the fight, but I haven't seen any type of actual like full fight. So I don't really know how he, how he looked or if he looked good or, or it looked sluggish. I'm not too sure. But from what I understand, he pretty much cruised to victory from all the reports that I saw on media outlets it seems like he was able to cruise to victory pretty comfortably so yeah we'll see maybe he, it puts him in the conversation i don't know i i don't really think so just yet but who knows he might be able to snag uh a good fish in in deontay wilder if, if wilder is actually trying to get back in the in the hunt to get one of those belts back so we'll see i don't know Usyk holding all those belts and then if tyson Fury does vacate, maybe Deontay Wilder could pick it up. So, with that being said, as always, peace, one love. We out of here.